know you guys are thinking that way. What I challenge you to do is job shadow. Okay? In our neighborhood, where I come from, Houston, Texas, it's not the nicest neighborhood, but just like anybody else, I'm not saying my my upbringing is harder or easier than anybody anyone else. But what I'm saying to you is I lack a lot of experience or exposure to different professions. I did. I had no idea what an engineer did. All right? But you're in a situation now where you can recruit guys from Michigan State, Michigan, all of these teams are coming and asking, banging on your door, they want to talk to you. You got a little bit of credit, okay? If you went into your neighborhood and asked an engineer, all right, in your neighborhood, you had a chance to be exposed to that individual, all right? Say, hey, I'm getting recruited, I'm not quite sure what I want to get my degree in, okay? But engineering beat my attention. I want to get some exposure to that. Would you help me? Would you give me a little bit of your time and let me just job share it? Does this make sense to you guys? One time. Does it make sense to you guys? Yes, sir. Okay. The only reason why I say this, the more exposed you get to those um, professions, the easier it becomes for you to be college and have perspective on the resources at that university to manipulate those resources and use them maximize the opportunity. Because that's the second thing. Okay? Job sab is the first thing. Trying to you know isolate what your degree you're about to be in. But the second thing is I like all of you guys not not to consider a university a university. Don't ever call it a real university anymore. Okay? What do you do when you manipulate something? Move it around. Okay? If you got a resource, if you got water and you own all the water.
not your dad. That's the one thing that bothers me to death. When you sit up there and you go in those classrooms and you don't do your job in the classroom, it's your fingerprint. What you put on that paper is a fingerprint. Does that make sense? And hey, if, I, if that's your fingerprint, I know exactly where it came from. Okay? So, like I said, we'll get into the presentation, but I want you guys to try to understand and to continue to learn.
inside leverage playing man to man, he's going to be slightly to the inside, okay? If I'm going to run a dig or something inside, I have to cross his face to get to the inside. Does that make, do y'all understand what I'm talking about on that? Yes, if I want to run out and he's inside leverage, am I crossing his face? Yes, no. So, he is beat by alignment. Do you understand what that means? Yes, All right, just run your route. You hear me say beat by alignment. But if I got to cross his face, half man theory, all right, the half man rule is I want to get to at least to his head up, to his inside if I got that inside breaking route, okay? If I got an outside breaking route, I want to get head up to his outside and then break and then disappear. Kaiser Sosa, you know what Kaiser Sosa does? Y'all ain't seen Usual Suspect? I know the old guys over here seen Usual Suspect. They know what the Kaiser Sosa does. He disappeared. He disappeared because he's a bad, he's just a bad man. We're the usual suspect. I don't know if y'all over. All right. But needless to say, half man rule, cross face. We want to minimize cross face. I don't want to cross your face. All right. I want to get to your inside, disappear. I want to get to your outside and run that out. Okay, are we good with that? All right. Concepts. Just so you know, if you do this right, you're gonna master, you're gonna get your more separation. Okay? Catching the ball. Warm your hands up first. Warm your hands up. Please, warm your hands up. The worst thing I like to say, I mean, the worst thing is, is to start a practice with guys that, you know, didn't get up there and play with that ball, manipulate that ball, and do things with it, you know, to get those fingers warmed up. Okay? You do not catch the ball with your palms. It is your fingers that are supposed to be on that ball first. It's like a shock absorber. You catch with your fingers and your hands, and there's this little squeeze. Okay, when you hit with your palm, all right, people say hands of stone, okay? Because when you hit with that palm, you catch that ball with your palm, all right, that ball has, maybe has a tendency to bounce off. And we understand that. So I'm always talking to my guys, fingers, fingers. Catch your hands, catch that ball with your fingers. All right, catch your ball with your fingers, okay? Six types of catches, we'll get to that in a little bit. Try to get as much. If the video comes up. 
not about you know the wide receivers. What we use is a track mentality. Okay, a track mentality. You guys run track. Yes, sir. How many guys run track? I know everybody over here wants to know what wide receivers run the track. So I, if I don't run track, I better hold my hand up. It's a fake. Okay, it's a fake. All right. Now, here's the thing. In a track stance, when I'm in a track stance, my body is here, all right? And of course, you know I raise up, okay? And then I take my step, okay? You see how long that first step was? I'm looking for that when you come off the ball just as a wide receiver. So, let's take that from that standpoint. Let's just talk about our stance as a wide receiver. So I'm here, I raise up. You see where my body is now? Sir. You see my lean? Okay? I'm not standing up here in NFL style, okay? All right? What happens when you just, just stand up straight like that? Here's what happens. My hips drop down, okay? I have to reposition this back foot, and then I have to go forward. When you take that track mentality, and you're already down, you see this knee is over the toe, okay? Knee over toe, shoulders over knees, okay? When you get that happening, now my first step, I can even take this back foot and bring it up. Because what, that, what does that mean? My weight's on the front, correct? My weight's on your front. So when I pounce, when that ball is snapped, and my guys don't listen to snap, they don't listen to snap down. All they do is look at that damn ball. All right, so they're looking at that ball, and when that ball moves, you see the step, okay? You see how much distance you get with that first step. You have to be able, now if you're running a 40, you're trying to impress me, you're gonna crowd that line as much as you can to run a small of a 40 as you possibly can. Is that correct? Yes, sir. All right, you want a 4-3 as opposed to a 4-6, right? Yes, so why wouldn't you do the same thing in your track stance? I mean, in your, in, your, in your stance for football as a wide receiver. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. It makes no sense. I hate seeing wide receivers. Okay, let's go. That just, I mean, it just boils my, boils my blood, okay? Boils my blood have to be able to get yourself down. You want to use all that speed that you got. If you got 4-2 speed, then be that guy that scares the head, scares DB by running at him with full speed. Be that guy. All right? Yeah. Then being able to stop yourself, break down, and get yourself in a position, do what you got to do. Okay? But this is the most important thing. Do we not understand? Do, are we in agreement? Yes, sir. Are we in agreement? Yes, sir. Okay? So when we get out on the field, what should I see? Stands, knee over the toe, shoulders over knees, okay? And then we come off the ball, all in agreement, okay? You got to wrap it, yeah, I figured as much, okay? All right, now, here's one thing that I want to make sure that I teach you guys before we get out on the field, all right? This is called, when we do the press release, because you guys are going to get DBs that want to put their hands on you, okay? When we talk about press and we talk about split, one of the things that we teach our wide receivers is we say split technique. So here, come split, come bounce up, so you can go, when y'all are playing basketball, you look like that, right? Sure. So here's the same thing in a press release situation. This defender is crowding my personal space. He's nice and tight, all right? So I'm here, split, and then come, okay? You're gonna split, or you're gonna go outside. You go from here, boom, here, coming to the outside. Whatever direction you want to go, but it's it's got to be quick. It's got to be quick. Now, understand. Mind. Be mindful. Be mindful. Press release is not just footwork. It's not just speed. One thing that ticks me off is when I see guys that just go way to China and they're trying to go vertical. Okay? You're trying to stay in this cylinder with this this defender and cause him problems by doing what that we talked about? Stacking. See y'all now. See the press release. We want to get over top, we want to make him feel bad, right? Okay, so we're coming here, boom, get over top, okay? Or, all right, it's like I said, see, now that's when a DB is nice and tight up on you, okay? When you got a little bit of space, we'll say hop split, okay? So what's hop split? He got a little bit of space from it. I don't ever say shoot, uh, shake Casper the ghost. You got a ghost right there, right? But I've got a person right behind you. I can go, to go, go through the ghost, right? So you understand where I'm coming with. So he's right there, I'm coming to him. He's right there, I'm gonna hop, and then come to split, and then work. Okay, those are things that I want you guys to try. We're gonna do this drill, okay? We're gonna have guys, we're gonna work with you guys on this drill. It is effective, now there's always different ways to skin a cat. 
There's always different ways to skin a cat. These guys, they do it, they do it, they're effective in how they do it. This is how I teach it. I'm not saying mine's is the most perfect way, but this is what I did when I played. So this is what I know. Alright? So hop split, okay? He's got a little bit of distance from me. He's not real, real, real tight and anchored. Okay? So I'm coming right there to him. Okay? As I said before, press release is not about just footwork. My hands, my hand, my physical hands, you guys do boxing? You ain't got no quick hands in here? You ain't got quick hands. That DB's gonna get right up in your grill. He's gonna get up all up in this stuff. If you don't learn how to get those hands down, all right, and I don't ever want to see a guy reaching for his back shoulders or his, his those shoulders and them, them, all these, these forearms, I mean, oh, forearms, these arms, these biceps, you know, when he gets there, he can be strong with that. Here is where you get those hands down, okay? Here you slap those hands down. Here you see that hand and you push it, okay? Physical hands, that hand-eye coordination. Coming back to that hand-eye coordination. I used boxing. I used to like to box when I was little. Okay, and that helped me, you know, being able to see a guy's hands, getting his hands down, and then staying into my route. Okay? But it's not out here reaching. All right, Ron? Your big long behind. All right, you don't want to be out there reaching. You want to take it nice and tight. When you jab, it's nice and tight. It's not out here, not loopy. Right there. Come on, let it, keep, let it get him in your space a little bit. Boom, boom. And then go and step around. Okay? Those are the things that I want to make sure that we touch on. I had to touch on those things for press release. Okay, because those are things that young guys, you have to get reps at. Have to get reps at. Have to be comfortable with. Okay, but attacking a guy's technique with your speed, first and foremost. If he's backed off you in a retreat situation, go make him fear you. Make him feel you with speed, this body that's leaning like this. If a body's like this, you know, he thinks you're about ready to stop. He doesn't fear that. But if you got that lean and you look like you're coming at you, coming at somebody like bolt, okay? Big long cat like that, just like this here, God thinks you're coming to run right by him. And then you gotta learn to stop. Talk about three step stop. Now I know I gotta stop. All right, so don't get me started. Okay? But some of these things, as we get going today with the drills, I'm gonna be critiquing you on, and we're gonna work on, and we're trying to get a little bit better. Like I said, I don't want you to make mistakes I did. I didn't have this, you know, I wasn't taught split and hop split when I was playing high school. Okay? All right? So, hey, use it. Use it to your advantage. Ask questions. You got guys over here, you can ask questions. Okay? We're not about the foremost authority. I just got some experience. Okay? All right? So let's have a good time. All right? Maximize your day. Learn something today. All right? And if you've got questions, ask. All right? One time. One time. Sound mind? Sound mind. Let's go. Let's get out of here.